Well, hey there, welcome back to the Texas Girls channel. I'm so glad that you're with me today. Today's gonna be a highly requested video. It is going to be an updated, a modest clothing haul for moms and I'm really excited to share some things with you some things are thrifted some things are from eBay some things are from Amazon Walmart they're gonna be cheap um, but that's all relative depending on your um, budget and your price range but these things are going to be easily accessible pretty much for everybody to find something like this similar um, and I just I have some gems in here for y'all I'm telling you no matter what your size, if you're pre-baby, post-babies, um, in your 20s, in your 40s, 50s, 60s, these fashions, these things, these clothing pieces are going to um, surpass time and they're just going to be some classic pieces that anybody can wear no matter what your size, shape, stage in life, <laughs> season in life might be. So stay tuned, grab a cup of coffee, grab something to sit back and relax. We're going to look at some clothes and I'm also going to share with you some of my favorite things that I'm using for my skincare and my makeup. It's very, very simple. You know me, but um, yeah, all the things. I'm showing you all the things today. So I hope you enjoy this. Let me get a sip of coffee. I have not done a video like this for a long time. And you know, people change, things change, season of life changes, um, but some things kind of stay the same when it comes to what I like, what I enjoy. And I know uh, many of you out there are in the same, same season as me or a similar season of life. So um, the things that I go by is comfy, um, things that I can work in, but things that still look nice and respectable if I want to hop in the car and go to town or I suddenly end up in a hospital with a child, in an emergency situation, I still look like a respectable human being um, that is put together. So that's some of my qualifications. And then as far as modesty goes, um, my personal convictions are keeping my neckline high, keeping my hemline of my skirt low and keeping everything in between long, loose and layered. That, those are my guidelines that I have for myself. Um, so with that being said, I'm gonna jump into it. One of the things that I am absolutely loving, I can't believe that it's taken me this long to find this item. I will link it for you below. I found these on Amazon and they are a dream come true. And that is these shirts um, that I'm wearing now. I got them in all four colors um, that I enjoy, but I think they also have them in navy and white as well. But this mustard yellow color I'm wearing right now, it's like a, a double layer, thicker gauze, cotton material. It's 100% cotton. I absolutely love it. It's very reasonably priced and I got one of them and I love them so much. They're squishy, soft cotton. You could wear this in the summertime. Um, you could, it's thick enough though that you could wear it um, layered in the fall or winter with a sweater or with a shirt underneath. I'm wearing this one today over top my tank dress and I wore this to church today and it's just, they're super comfy. They're very loose. I'm enjoying the big loose the style, I'm, I'm very much enjoying that. Um, I, it's just very pretty. So this is the shirt. I got it in uh, mustard, I got it in black, and I got it in this beautiful burnt orange color. Um, they're just adorable. They're beautiful. They're just, just a classic gauzy, solid shirt. They're just so comfy. I love that they're 100% cotton. They're breathable. They're just, I love them. I absolutely love them. And I got one in this green. I'm a sucker for green. So love it. I just love these shirts. I will leave them in the link below. I can't say anything else about them. You, you need them. You just need one of them and you'll probably be addicted to them like I am. Like who needs a t-shirt when you can have this? It's just so comfortable. My favorite shirts. Moving on to, I'm gonna move on to dresses. So here we go. This is gonna be fun. 
Okay, so moving on to dresses, I'm gonna show you what I found on the clearance rack at my local Walmart. Um, I try to avoid Walmart mostly at all costs, but um, there are some times where you, you need something and you end up in a Walmart. And I am very glad that I did this day because I found these little t-shirt dresses on the clearance rack for $4, y'all. Um, I think you can also get these t-shirt dresses online and they might be on clearance online at this point too because this is probably more of a summer or spring type dress, but it is a tank dress. It's a t-shirt, it has a crew neck. Um, this one is cream with white stripes. There's no slits on the side which I love about it. It goes all the way down. And for me, um, it also has uh, pockets, which I appreciate. Um, and it's just a simple basic t-shirt dress. For me, it goes down to about almost to my calf, well below my knee um, level. And this, although it is a spring or summer dress, I wanted to show these because if you're going on vacation, maybe you're going away somewhere warm um, this winter, or maybe you just want to grab them when they're on a deal right now and put them in, up until the springtime. I just thought that these were a great deal for $4. Um, so I got this in a medium, it's like a size 8, 10, and I really appreciate the medium size of it. Um, and you can layer this up. You could put this with a winter or fall sweater and then put some nice leggings in with it and some boots and it would look just as good for a fall or winter outfit as it would for spring and summer. There's always ways to layer up and add to it and that would be, that would just be super great. Okay, next one is, now this one <laughs> is also $4 and I just had to grab it. Um, it's this really pretty coral color and it's just like this peachy coral. I just love it. I love the neckline. I love that it's a tank that I can um, add a lightweight, again, a lightweight cardigan to it in the spring or summer, or um, put a jean shirt over top of it um, in the fall or winter. It would look adorable with boots, leggings. Um, it would just be super cute. But this is a coral color, so I think this one I will probably save for more um, spring and summer, but four bucks, I would was tickled to death to get it. And they come in lots of different colors. I also have one in a navy blue that I really enjoy. I've been wearing a lot um, around the house. They, pro they come in other colors too. So go check them out um, online or in your store if they still have them. Next up is these tank dresses from Amazon. And this one I got in a wine red color. And you can see. So this one I got in a wine red color. It is just a basic tank dress. Um, it's pretty much a crew neck. Uh, sometimes I flip it around backwards because the back line, the back and the front are identical and it doesn't really matter which way the pockets go. It's the same. Um, you can use the pockets either way. But sometimes if I want my neckline to be a little higher, I just wear it backwards and it's totally fine. Um, but this is a really pretty, uh, color. It's just really just a t-shirt uh, material. It's very, very comfy. I did have to hem it because um, I am short <laughs> and uh, so it was no big deal. I just bought a little uh, spool thread from uh, the store and I just turned it under and hemmed it and it was totally fine. So you don't have to be an expert seamstress to hem a t-shirt dress. Um, it's really easy to go ahead and hem them, but I love these for, um, for all the seasons. I love it for uh, summer. It is a tank uh, dress, so um, you can wear a lightweight cardigan with it. You could put a t-shirt over it if you wanted to extra layer, um, whatever you want to do with it. And uh, it's really cute, again, with just like a jean shirt uh, over top of it, or you can put a sweater over it. It's just, the possibilities are endless. They're so comfy and they're just so easy. They're just so easy. You could put some sandals on, put some flip flops on, or you could wear it with boots, um, whatever you want to do. I also have that same dress I'm wearing um, in black. 
and I love it. I just absolutely love it. Next up is this t-shirt dress. This is a maxi dress from Amazon. Again, I did have to hem it. It's made by the same company. This is just in a charcoal gray, but this one actually has short sleeves on it, which I do appreciate for the summertime if I'm um, outside working or doing something. I don't have to add an extra layer. It's already a t-shirt um, style, so that's kind of nice. Um, I just, I really, I really appreciate it and like it, it's super nice. And last up for the dresses, but not least, this is an actual dress and I use this as a church dress. Like every so often I will put this on and we will wear it to church. We also got family pictures done in it this year. I wore this for family pictures this year and I just love it. It's, I guess, short sleeve. Um, but the sleeves have a really pretty shape to them. How they lay on your shoulder is really pretty. This one is in a size small and it comes in a few different colors and prints. It's on Amazon. It's very flattering. Um, it has an elastic uh, kind of like a rouge kind of waistband to it. It's gathered in the front and gathered in the back. So you have a lot of coverage and just modesty with it. Um, and then the bottom is tiered. You can see the um, kind of like the prairie dress tiering all the way down. And um, I just love it. It's very lightweight. It's very comfortable, very breathable. Um, it's just a really pretty, comfortable dress. Again, in the fall and winter, you can layer it up, put a sweater on it, put some leggings on it, put some boots. In the summertime, you could wear it with flip-flops. Just super comfy, I love it. It's a very classic, pretty dress, and I love it. I'll link it for you below. Okay, I have two cover-up shirts that I'm gonna share with you that are kind of like an all-season type cover-up shirt. I was really excited to find them because again, I'm kind of funny with like um, the textures of fabric. I want it to feel like a cotton or a linen or something that is like a, a real uh, fabric. I don't like um, synthetic, uh, funky, like acrylic feeling, plasticky feeling type fabrics. I want it to at least feel real. And these shirts really do. And I'm excited um, to show you them because I got them on Amazon. And let me show you. They're super cute. This one is tan. I got them in two different colors. I got one in tan and one in white. It looks like a linen shirt. Um, I'm sure it's not linen, but um, it feels like a linen cotton blend. I'm just gonna say it feels like that. It's very pretty. The back has a little bit of a, kind of like a little bit of a gather, like a little bit of a loose hem here type gather to it. So it has a little bit more interest than just, um, just like a boxy um, standard button up shirt would have. And it's just very pretty. You can roll up the sleeves. Um, I'm just using it as a cover up shirt uh, to wear like over top my tank dresses or over top of, yeah, the shorter tank dresses that I have, either one and I got it in white as well. And it's just very pretty. It's just simple, classic, pretty, nice. They were very budget friendly. And I was like, yes, 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 because I have ordered different dress shirts from Amazon. I've sent back a lot of dress shirts from Amazon. Either to, they're too boxy or office-y looking or they just feel fake. But those, I'm telling you, I will keep for a long, long time. And I'm just really excited to have them in my wardrobe. And I'm gonna get on and show you some of the things that I got from eBay and I'm so excited. Some of them are gonna throw you back to the 80s. So hold on, don't, don't click off yet because you're gonna see some fun things. But before I do that, I just want to show you real quick. I got these um, little 
I don't know if they're called yoga shorts or uh, biker shorts is what we used to call them back in the day, but they do have the pockets, I guess. So if you wanted to put a cell phone in them, I have been wearing these when I don't feel like wearing um, full leggings underneath of my skirts. I mostly always wear like leggings or like um, knee length leggings underneath my skirts, but sometimes in the summertime or if I'm wearing like my shorter um, tank uh, skirts that only come, you know, past my knee or whatever. I just, if I don't feel like wearing a full set of leggings cause it's Texas and it's hot, um, I got these and I think they came in a pack of three. They're super comfy. They do have like the tummy control um, up here waistband and they're just, they're just great. They're just really, really comfortable. And when you don't feel like having on a full pair of leggings, these are awesome. I will link them for you below. These are not like 100% cotton or anything like that. That is my only disappointment with them is that they they do feel more of that like athletic, new, new agey like fabric style, but I love them still. So I thought they were worth mentioning. Okay guys, so if you're ready for a flashback to the 80s or the 90s, if you're an 80s or 90s kid like I am, you're gonna get ready to have a lot of fun with some crazy memories. But I went on to eBay, it's probably been a while back now, maybe six months ago, and I just had a blast because a good friend of mine was um, telling me about her stone wash jacket. And we were kind of reminiscing about just being kids and all that. And I'm like, I, I love that jacket. I remember my stone wash jacket. I really want one. So I went on to eBay and I, I love thrifting from eBay because um, these clothes are already made. They're already in the circle of being used. You're not going and buying more stuff from fast fashion like Amazon and Walmart and all that kind of stuff, which I have stuff from. But if I can at all possible, I love thrifting. I loved going. To, I love going to thrift stores. I love paying less for things, and I love buying things that are already in cycle and not mass producing more clothing. So I always do that with my children's clothes and my clothes, if at all possible, shoes. I try to go and find it online. And by far, eBay is one of my favorite places to find um, clothing and shoes and things like that because the search is just so user friendly and I love being able to communicate directly with the seller and make an offer and and be able to have that communication I think is just great like I really really appreciate that direct contact so I was able to find this little uh, jean vest and I did wear it this summer and I will probably wear it again this fall. I have a couple turtlenecks um, that I will probably wear underneath of it and I just love it. I love everything about it. I will probably have it for a long, long time. Um, it's just it's just too cute. It has the little buttons in the front on the pockets. It's just enough um, when you just wanna just add a little vest to your outfit. It's just super cute. So I found that. Uh, next up, I found this lighter stone wash. I would tell you these brands, but these brands don't even matter. I mean, they're not like big name brands or anything like that. I just like the look of these things, so that's why I ended up buying them. But this is just like a lighter stone wash uh, jean shirt. It's very lightweight. I wore it during the summertime. I can definitely wear it this fall. I just love putting it over my dresses. Um, I love wearing it like with a t-shirt and a skirt and it's just cute. It's just simple. It's just a simple stone wash shirt um, and I love it. This one has snaps on it and the little snap pockets. Love it, love it, love it. And I love that they're worn in too. I love clothes that aren't brand new. I know that's weird, but I do. Next up is another little vest. This one is solid. It's just a solid jean vest. It has a zipper on it and it's just cute. Everything about it is cute. Um, the name brand is Christopher Banks. It's in a size medium, um, but it's just, it has a lot of detail to it. You can see the back, 
Um, it has these cute little pockets in the front. Um, I'm just, I just love it. I love the little jean vests. So, and last up but not least, this one I probably wore the most this summer. This is another um, acid wash jean shirt and my kids saw it when I opened it up. I fell in love with it and the kids were like, what happened to your shirt? And I'm like, oh. Oh no, you don't understand what cool is, guys. <laughs> this is so cool. So this again is a snap shirt. It has like a double snap here on the sleeves. Um, let's see the brand. I'm not big on brands, y'all. Los Angeles company. Anyway, um, I just love it. It's kind of a bolder uh, acid wash. Um, I just love, I just love it. I don't know what else to say about it. If there's something that you just love from your past <laughs> and you just like, when somebody brings it up to you, you're like, I did love that. Hey, I like that jean jacket. I should just get one. You should just get one. It doesn't matter if it's in style or not in style. I really don't care. I am happy about these. I love them and I've worn them like to death already and I'll just keep on wearing them and I'm telling you summer winter fall doesn't matter <laughs> I will wear those shirts I'm so excited about them but I found some other things on eBay I'm gonna show them to you right now so speaking of eBay one of the cool things is yeah you can search by size you can type in exactly what you're looking for um, the color of your shirt or your sweater or whatever it is it's just so nice to be able to type in exactly what you're looking for so I was really missing the old style maxi skirts um, and I know I have been able to find um, maxi skirts on Amazon actually this one sorry this one is from Amazon and I will link it below um, this one you do not have to hem if you are shorter like me you do not have to hem it, it is a fold over yoga waistband and it's um, lightweight but I always wear leggings under it anyway it's not transparent but it is thinner um, but this one is very comfy and very nice and it does come in some different colors and it's cheap um, so I will link that for you. So I have been able to find some maxi skirts, but I was looking for the old classic style maxi skirts that Walmart used to carry back in the day. I have not seen them recently for a long time, but it was the Faded Glory brand. And this one is in a size small, four six, size small, four six faded glory and I have worn them so so much and they were in really good shape they hold up nice they're just a nice cotton I love them they're not big giant maxi skirts I don't have to hem them they're the right length for me they fit me nicely so if you've had something like that again in the past that maybe Target carried it or whatever um, if you know the name of the skirt and um, or the shirt or whatever you're looking for, I would encourage you to go onto eBay because there's probably somebody on there who has them or is selling it. And it's just so nice to be able to find things that you know fit you, you know you enjoy it, and you can find them so cheap. I, I know I paid less than $10 for each of these skirts. Um, this one's really pretty. Again, it's just the Faded Glory brand and it's the fold over uh, yoga waistband. It's real cute. It's like a pink uh, paisley, pink and gray paisley. It's very pretty, very comfy, and I was very happy to find them. Last but not least is this little thrifted dress, and I just love it. It's cute, it's checked. It might have been from Target, I'm not sure the brand on it, but it is super cute. I wear it just with like a jean shirt or a sweater and it comes down nice and low, um, below my knees, almost mid calf on me. And it's just super cute. I just love it. It's very pretty. Um, this one I wore out, me and my husband went on a date and we just went out and got like a hamburger together and this dress was just, it was just cute. So last but not least are my sweaters. Okay guys, so here are my favorite sweaters. I've had these since 
last year or maybe the year before. I've had these for a while and I absolutely love them. They are tried and true. I can tell you I've been wearing them for a long time, but I just love them. And one of the things that I realized was that I think that I've been realizing for the past couple years is just what colors really work for me, what colors I enjoy, what fabrics I enjoy, what textures I enjoy, what things I don't enjoy, what colors I think that are really pretty and they are pretty on other people, but then I don't actually enjoy them on myself. So thinking about all of these things really helps to narrow down what you're looking for when you're going to make a purchase for clothing to add to your um, to your wardrobe. So, um, so for me, I really like earth tones. I love like the green, the orange. Of course, I love black. I love brown, camel colors. I love jean. I love jean shirts um, and that kind of thing. So just knowing that helps so much when I'm going to make a purchase. I know what textures I know I love. I love, you know, cottony uh, textures. I love fabrics that I can wear in the spring and summer or I can layer up and wear in the fall and winter. So that all really helps. That has helped me so much in making decisions so I don't end up with things in my drawers that I'm like, I love this but I don't love it on me or I'm just not grabbing it anymore. So, and I don't keep a lot of clothes in my dresser. I only keep what I'm actually wearing. And if I'm not wearing something and not enjoying it, I'm, I'm quick to just put it in a bag and go donate it or give it away to somebody or drop it off at, um, a thrift store or something like that and and just move it on along to somebody who can enjoy it so with all that being said i have really enjoyed these sweaters i really love them i got these on amazon probably at least a year or two ago now and this one is in my favorite like a wine red color i really love this color um any kind of like jewel tone colors, earth tone colors, I really, really like. So this one is very pretty. It has pockets on it. It's lightweight. It's just comfy. I wear it all the time. I usually grab it in the morning and put it on and wear it around the kitchen while I'm getting up and getting ready. Next up is this one. This sweater is from Walmart and this one is definitely at least two years old. This is a time and true and it is a size four six and it kind of has that ribbing kind of it's like a stretchy ribbing kind of deal across the back and then the front of the sweater is just plain. It's just plain and it has the pockets um, but this ribbing kind of comes around to your side. It's just comfy, that's all. <laughs> it's just a nice, lightweight, comfy sweater. When you don't feel like um, being a fashionista and wearing some big clunky, thick sweater. I like thick, clunky sweaters, but sometimes it's just too much on me. I, like, I feel like there's just too much fabric. That's when I grab this sweater <laughs> because this is just a normal, regular sweater that fits my arms. I can do dishes, I can move around in it, and I don't feel like I have big clunky sleeves getting in my way. I don't know, just me. If you're that way, leave me a comment below and tell me I'm not um, crazy for feeling overwhelmed in sweaters sometimes, but I appreciate the big bulky sweaters. They're very pretty, but sometimes you're just wanting to get some housework done or just feeling a little overstimulated in the big bulky sweater and you just need a normal sweater. So that's when this one comes in handy. And again, go on eBay, look around. There's so much to pick from. Um, sometimes I think people get trapped in those um, what's in fashion, what's in style right now. You go onto Target or Walmart or Amazon, any of these big box type stores, and they're gonna 
they're going to put you in that box and they're going to show you just what they are selling this season for the next few months. And maybe that's really not your style. Maybe your style is more like an old style cardigan, or maybe you want like a thicker wool sweater with big, pretty uh, leather buttons. And you can get one for $10 um, on eBay. And it's going to be really high quality and it's going to be really nice. And, um, and it's not going to be just something from some big box store that you just grabbed and you're not really happy with it and it's scratchy or feels funny. So anyway, I'm just encouraging y'all to shop around and not get stuck in that trap. So this sweater here um, is from Amazon. I've had it a couple years now. It's kind of like a caramel color, which was a color that I really wanted. And um, I love it. I love this caramely kind of color. And I almost wore it today over top of this um, mustard color shirt. But it's, it is one of those bulkier sweaters. So you have to be in the mood to wear a bulkier, um, thicker sweater. The back of it is um, just like a simple knit, kind of like a, um, just looks like a, just a simple knit sweater. And then the front just has the um, kind of like a braid kind of style going down the front of it. Anyway, I love it. I've worn it to death, but it's not my go-to favorite, favorite sweater um, because of the style of it. I wear this more like if I'm going out somewhere than to wear it around the house. It kind of... Um, yeah, it kind of annoys me under my arms and stuff when I wear it around the house. So those are my sweaters and I'm gonna share with you now, if you've been around this long, good, stick, stay with me. I'm gonna share with you all of my favorite things that I'm using for my skincare. I've been using this stuff for probably nine months or more now, so I wanted to be able to use it and see if I really, really like it before I share it with you, and I'm gonna tell you I do. So before I share that, I wanted to show it show you one more thing. Um, these are little simple head covers that I found on Amazon. Um, I wear them, my little girl wears them to church on Sunday, and they are just simple, simple as they come. They have like a little band, you can see this little band, and you can just put them on and they are just simple. If you don't like the little handkerchief, it kind of has a little point. We just wear them mostly just like that. But if you didn't like this part, if that's a little too much for you, you can just take the little triangle tip and then clip it underneath onto your hair, like with a little bendy clip like this. And then it would just be a little half um, or three quarter cover and it wouldn't have the little triangle tip, but I wear it down with the triangle tip it covers up my bun and it's fine. I wear it either way. Um, this, they're pretty, they're cheap. They're super cheap. They're lightweight. They're so easy for little girls, for big girls, for anybody to put on. We usually wear them just with these little um, clips. We just get these little bendy clips and put one on each side. And it's just a great little cover for church on Sunday if you cover your head on Sundays. So I just wanted to throw that out there because I know sometimes um, head coverings are expensive or they're cumbersome or people don't know how to put them on and all that kind of stuff. So I found those, they come in like a three pack or a five pack. I will link them for you below. There's lots of different um, colors to pick from and they're just really perfect. They're perfect. So. So some of my favorite skincare products that I'm using right now, all of my skincare products that I'm using right now, y'all, is, I know, this one from the, people are gonna remember this from way back, the way back machine, but this Hawaiian Moon Aloe, I will link it for you. This one is a little pricey, but it has lasted probably four years, this container. Um, and I am just getting to the end of it. Like I would need to order a new one pretty much now. But this um, has a lot of really good things in it for your skin. Um, I use it as a daily moisturizer. My husband got it for me um, four years ago now and a little bit goes a long, long way. 
you can buy it on Amazon or you can buy it directly from the company, Hawaiian Moon Aloe. I just really appreciate it because it's all natural and I like putting that kind of thing on my skin. Next up is, I'm trying this out and I've been using this for probably about nine months now. So this comes in a pack. This is made by Tree of Life and these are just um, a vitamin C serum and a retinol serum. And they say that if you are 35 years old plus, which I am, um, I am 45 years old now, I wanted to really start taking good care of my skin, especially living here in Texas and being on a farm, being out in the sun a lot. I wanted to really start to take care of my skin. So they said the two things that you need if you are older and you wanna start taking care of your skin is a good vitamin C and a good retinol. And um, this one, these two are made by Tree of Life. They come together in a pack and they were very reasonable. It comes with just a nice little dropper. So I usually put the vitamin C um, on my skin um, in the morning and then I put the retinol on my skin at night. And it takes, you feel very moisturized. It feels really good. I just really love them. Um, they're very simple products and I'm using them. Next up along that line, the last thing that they said that you really need to use or start using if you want to take care of your skin um, and delay some of the aging process on the skin is a good um, sunscreen. I'm not a sunscreen person. I never have been. When my babies were little, I always used an organic sunscreen. I used like Baby Gannics or some type of organic sunscreen because I didn't want all of those nasty chemicals on my baby's skin. And my opinion is that sunscreen can, a lot of times the chemicals in it can do more harm and more damage to our bodies than actually just being in the sun. So I'm a big proponent of sun hats. I always had my little babies in like sun, like shirts and hats and things like that to keep the sun off of them. And um, if, if I needed to use a sunscreen to just go ahead and use something that was organic. So when I thought about using a sunscreen for myself, I definitely wanted to get something that was organic and natural. And this one came up um, on Amazon. This is by Thrive and um, it says skincare, skincare powered by regenerative, regenerative plants. And it's a daily defense sunscreen balm, protects from sun, hydrates, and restores. So just a little tiny bit of this will do ya. And um, I've been using it. I used it every single day this summer. Just kept a little bit on my face, um, just to extra protection when I was out in the sun. And I, I like it. I can put. I usually would put it on if I was going to put makeup on that day. I can put the makeup on right over top of it. It doesn't make that white pasty like some of the natural sunscreens um, can make a really thick white pasty. Uh, film. This does not do that. You can go ahead and add your makeup right on top of it and you won't have any problems at all. And it also is a really good moisturizer. So I've been using this and I have been loving it. I'm going to hop into makeup, which my makeup y'all is like literally probably three things um, and they're not expensive things. I keep my makeup very, very minimal. But before I did that, I just wanted to tell you that I am still using this clay powder in my hair and I still love doing this. So um, if you have problems um, with having to wash your hair all the time or you want your hair to be thicker or have more volume to it, um, this is the solution. Now, I know they make so many different products out there and I have not tried um, any at all. So maybe you have some suggestions for me, you can leave them below. But I don't like a lot of the things that have chemicals in them. I don't wanna be spraying chemical um, spray onto my hair or 
Um, some of those dry shampoos really have nasty things in them. I don't like the idea of spraying that onto my head. So just getting a clay powder, I will link it for you below. I buy this in bulk on Amazon and you can use this for a million different um, natural, healthy purposes. You can make deodorant, toothpaste, um, facial uh, packs out of it. You can do so much with this clay, um, but I use it as a hair powder and for, I don't know, the past six months or a year maybe, I've just been using it just like this with, um, it's just kind of a clay color. It's not white, but it's not gray. Um, and I just take a little bit, put it in my hands and then just put it in my hair and flip my hair upside down and rub it all in my hair. And what it does is it adds volume, it absorbs oil, and then I do not have to wash my hair all the time, which really helps to add to the longevity of your hair and the health of your hair. And the other thing is, I just love that it adds volume to my hair and I don't have to um, do anything to it because I don't blow dry my hair. I don't um, iron my hair or use a curling iron in my hair. I try to take really good care of my hair. Um, so just using this really has been the secret weapon for me. And if you have um, darker hair, what I have done in the past, and I kind of started going back to again um, the past couple weeks, is that um, I just add a little bit of charcoal. So I buy my charcoal also. Um, you can buy activated charcoal, it doesn't matter. But you can buy your charcoal in bulk on Amazon. I will link that for you below too. And this just makes I just add a little, like a few teaspoons of charcoal to it until it kind of gets to a darker gray type shade. And then I just add in the clay and then I just mix it up. It's just in a little powder form. Again, I just put it in my hands and then just rub it into my hair. And it just kind of, um, breaks up that like brassy, like my hair gets a lot of sun in the summertime and sometimes you can see on videos like it's getting golder and golder and golder. It's just because of the sun and exposure to the sun. So my natural hair is darker and sometimes I just wanna kinda bring it back to the darker state and cooler uh, tone that it naturally is. Um, so this kind of helps that. The downside of adding the charcoal obviously is that charcoal stains and it gets on, it doesn't stain, but it gets on your hands, it gets underneath your fingernails, it gets, it can get on your clothes and all that kind of stuff. So you kind of have to be careful with it. And then afterwards, I just wash my hands really good um, and make sure that I don't have charcoal anywhere on me. It's not that hard, but anyway. Um, I do appreciate that as well. Either way, um, you can add any kind of um, natural colorant that you want. If you just wanted to add some cocoa powder to it to make it more brown, you can do whatever you want. You can research and figure out what additives you could naturally add to your clay powder to make it match your hair tone more naturally if you were concerned about that. But even just using the clay powder, just plain, it really just blends in and it's not really a big deal at all. Next up, let's talk about my makeup for just a minute. I am a bare bones, minimal kind of person when it comes to makeup. I wish that I had some beautiful, natural, chemical-free makeup to show you, but alas, I do not. <laughs> so if you have a good one for me, if you know a good brand, please let me know below. I would love to make the switch. I'm just a creature of habit, and this has worked for me for so long now that I just have not changed it, and it's cheap, and it's easy, and it matches my skin tone, which is not easy to do, and it works. So. This one is made by Maybelline. It is Dream Radiant Liquid, and the color is 40, and it's called Nude. And I get this on Amazon, and usually it's like 10 bucks or less, and it lasts me a long time. It comes in a little pump, and um, 
It comes in lots of different colors. It offers really good coverage. Um, I usually just take a little bit, add it on my fingertips and put it where I need coverage on my face. If I have like blemishes or dark spots from the sun, I can always just pump just a little tiny bit more and just add in and cover up, you know, just layer up that coverage. And it just does a great job. I don't use very much of it at all. It lasts me forever and ever, um, but I'm sure it is not the healthiest choice out there, but I just wanted to share with you. It is Maybelline, again, um, Dream Radiant Liquid, number 40, nude. Um, if you have my beigey skin color, then it will probably work for you. Next up is this Milani. Um, this is a bronzer. And I used the first one. It was a little bit of a different color of the Milani. I think it was like called Italian something. I can't remember. Um, it was more of a rosy bronzer. This one is more of a bronzy bronzer. Again, it's just from Amazon. It is just like a gold and bronze bronzer. It's very simple. Um, and I just have a big uh, brush and I just add a little bit to my nose and my cheekbones, maybe my forehead, my chin if I want to, and that's it. That is literally all I use for my makeup is just a little bit of the cover up and then a little bit of a bronzer. And that is my makeup in a nutshell. Um, the only other thing that I do, uh, like if I'm, uh, going out or if I'm making a video. I do not wear this every single day, but this um, Rocket, this is also by Maybelline, the Rocket Volume Express. I picked this up, I think, just at CVS. Um, but I do like this mascara. It's very, um, it's thick. It's a very thick mascara, it stays on, it does not come off easily. Um, you can sleep in it, not recommend, um, but you could sleep in it and it's just, it's still gonna be on your eyes the next day. It's just kind of, I really like it. Um, I've used a lot of different mascaras over the years, but um, this one I just picked up by accident and it looked like an interesting package and I bought it and I ended up really, really liking it. It doesn't, it's not overkill, it's not over dramatic eyes, but it just adds a little bit of darkness, uh, just a little bit of definition, which I feel like in my age, <laughs> sometimes I need because I'm fading away into the, into the background. Um, so I just add this to my top lashes and that's it. And it's really like, I don't wear this every single day. I only wear mascara for like something special or for y'all when I'm making a video. And that is it um, for my makeup. Last, I guess, my last bonus thing that I can tell you that I have been enjoying so much. No, y'all, this is not the phone cords from the 80s from our phones. These are now hair bands. And let me tell you, if you are doubting, if you are doubting buying these things, do not doubt anymore. If you have thin hair or if you have little girls that their ponytails will not stay in, these things are amazing and they are everywhere now. You can get them at Dollar General, um, Walmart, any um, drugstore is carrying them now. They have the cloth ones. I bought a, a pack of the more cloth feeling ones and I don't like them as much. Just I like just the plastic rubbery ones. We have these in gold. What do I have these in? I have them in gold. I have them in the silvery kind of color. These are awesome. They do not get tangled up in your hair. They just hold your hair in place really, really nicely. I love them. Um, they're easy to just put around your wrist and keep them until you're ready to pull your hair back up. I can't say enough good about them. You will love them too. I promise probably no matter what texture or style or length of hair you have, these things are amazing. <laughs> A brand new use for the phone cords that we used to have. So 
With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed my haul today. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing all of the clothes that I have that I'm loving and enjoying. And I know it's hard being a mom. It's hard wearing all the hats, running to doctor's appointments, running kids in town, doing different things, never knowing where you're gonna end up in a day. Um, and then coming home, doing housework, cooking, cleaning. We do so many different things. So we need sturdy, durable, comfortable clothing, but we wanna look respectable and we want to look beautiful um, as we do those things. So I hope you enjoyed this video so much. Um, stay tuned, I'm gonna be doing a little girl's clothing modesty haul. It's gonna be very similar to my clothing haul in that I'm gonna be sharing with you thrifted, gifted, Amazon, eBay, Walmart, all the things um, where I got her clothes from and what she's enjoying wearing right now. So you won't wanna miss that. Hit that little bell notification if you haven't already. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It means so much to me um, that you all are here. I hope you're enjoying all the thrift back videos we've been putting them on here so you can kind of catch up if you're new around here you can kind of see who I am and where I've been um, in the past and kind of enjoy those throwback videos and then enjoy all of these new videos that I'm going to be putting out for you as well thanks so much guys for watching I hope you have a wonderful wonderful day don't forget love your people do all the things and rejoice in the Lord always because he is so worthy of our praise and until next time I'll see you right back here at the Texas Girls. Bye guys.